Now I'm going to show you a couple of cute little ways um, to paint ghosts and um, a spider web. So I thought that was a great way to sort this out. Now I want you to see that with the spider web, I'm just taking a pencil and showing you that we are going to come right along here and make this happen. So it's going to be like this, this, right here, and here. All right. So you can have a spider hanging right down here. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that well, but there we go. All right. So also now when we do ghosts, we can have them floating. All right. So they're like this. All right. Or they're funny little ghosts that have a peak like little bits of shape here and they're like this so it's kind of funny huh all right i can make it a little bit wider face all right so i'm just wanted to share with you that we can sit and make this happen very simply and it's kind of fun as we do this all right so i'm using floaty medium and floating medium is a fluff that's inside paint with no pigment. So I put out its clear gel. I put that out and it makes it move on paper and all kinds of surfaces really easily. And then I'm just going to pick up some white. Now you can have your spider web white. So you can have it licorice. So I'm going to put a little bit of licorice and do this that way. Let's see how steady my hand is. Now, um, I am going to use a two script liner. Okay. And so when I'm doing the spider web, I am going to bring water and make it inky. Roll the brush. You don't want it too wet. It's supposed to be inky. So you can go like that and see how it's going to be. I might need a little bit more liquid here. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this where I can get to it. So, see my little finger? It's helping me pull this. All right. And then this one, I probably shouldn't have drawn pencil. I could do it better without. Okay. So, right in here, this is, oops, that's a big stretch. Okay. And I come right along here. You can tell it got dry. See that? There we go. So keep rolling it in that wet. Now you can do this all the way in a complete circle too. Just realize that, okay? All right, now I'm going to come here to this point. And usually... These go stretch out to another point to hold them in place, like a tree limb or branches or connected to the house over to, I let, I just, my least favorite thing is running into them, right? So I'm going to come across here with a tree limb. Okay, so what that would do is you're going to stretch it to there, going to connect there, connect there. All right, now this is what happens when the spider web is coming across here. It is sagging a little bit. So you're going to come right in here and you can make it not too much too often. Or you can make it really delicate with lots of, see, that's drying, lots of space or not much space. You can divide this and have it do some extra fancy stuff like Wilbur the pig. 
wrote words, right? The spider, but Wilbur was there to watch it. Okay, so it's all right. I You can't really mess up too bad, except, see how dry that is? This is inky with water. All right. And it goes across here, connects. Okay, this is easy for kids to do too. They have a good time making spider webs. And I do face painting with them where I do this out from the corner of the eye, going back on the face. I did this in Japan to a bunch of artists. <laughs> <laughs> and the company said, oh, our ladies will not like that. And so they kept going, do me, do me. <laughs> they loved it. Okay, so there's the spider web. There's the branch that it was on. Okay, and then we can come down here. And I do do, do do, I do put out red, apple red. This is just a fun little adventure today. This is uh, practice strokes. We do relax and paint, and then we do practice strokes. All right. And so I'm going to dot ahead. Oops, he's getting near to that, uh, <laughs> to the ghost. All right. So. I'm going to turn it this way because I can do the legs better. Remember, they, they have to have eight. Okay. It's all kinds of spiders. Make some realistic ones. My pencil's there. All right. So there we go. Just a quick. I'm Really, these are just fun, not stressful, easy little projects. All right. So when we go to the ghost, all right, now I can do it a couple of ways. I like to do it see-through. So I'm going to put a lot of medium. This is um, still, I think, your 10, but you can use a bigger brush depending on how big. So I'm going to side load and see it's still got a lot of gel in there. All right, so I'm going to come along here and slide all the way down. And slide all the way down. So I just saw if I get this out here now, y'all can have opportunities to make these little ghosts. So you're going to come up here, slide, slide up here. Let's get it all a white cast in here. All right. So I make it milky, but see how nice it is being on the gray because you can see. There we go. You're going to come right in here and come up here. Okay, now, and now I'm just going to side low white and come right in here. Now, if you don't have the gray in the background, then what you need is um, to put some gray in this as you're stroking white with a little bit of medium gray. But it's nice when uh, you've got a base coated surface. Now, So he's just kind of floating. But then when you come over here to this little guy, he's got a peak and... He's got an arm that comes up here, and, and I can make him kind of translucent, too. And there's pearl paint. We have pearl paint that's nice for this. We have glitter, dragonfly glaze that you can put on here, and they would glow, um, glitter. But we have glow-in-the-dark paint, but you have to have uh, black light to get it to glow. But those are fun during this time of the year. Okay, so <laughs> you can have little ghosts floating everywhere with a few bats even. All right, so what I want to do 
is I want to dip dot dip the handle of the brush into here and I'm going to put dot dot and you can uh, make the mouth go ooh. <laughs> just kind of quick and you can put a little white highlight in the eye if you want to okay how fun is that quick and easy a spider web spider um floating medium you're gonna love that's gonna give you that and you can put a glaze on top of this and make it sparkle or be pearl and um you can use neon all right so the neon colors are super super fun i i just want to show you a couple of them here's a couple of neons we have orange and lime and pinks there's lots of purple blues lots of colors all right so check out onestroke.com and if you want a beginner's class for the fall holidays come with me october 5th 6th and 7th go to onestroke.com click at the top pink banner and it's 20 dollars for five lessons five projects five projects three lessons three different days in a row and we all are gonna have fun together so don't miss out Love you. See you later. Bye-bye.